time to dive into the depths of a new beer from Samuel Adams, also known as the Boston Beer Company out of Boston, Massachusetts, you as a fag, yay, yay. And what beer is that? It is their Sam 76. They say this is a hybrid beer or a union of lager and ale. Why is that? Because they brew two beers and then they combine them. That's right. This is now a year round serving. It clocks in at 4.7% and 12 ABV. Now you heard I said they do two beers. That's right, they do a lager and an ale and they blend them together then they put a bunch of hops in here to make it like taste good and stuff so they're using white hops they're using cascade citra mosaic and simcoe that sounds awesome now for malts in this they're using samuel adams two row pale mm, their favorite proprietary kind of malt thing going on white wheat and carafoam or carapils whatever you want to call it so you know what enough flapping my gums ah, time to crack the top on this i have earned it today Time to chill, get a little beer, get some cooking on. You know what's up. Time to crack it. Ah, get in the glass and tell you what's up with Sam 76. Hell yes. All right. So I guess this is kind of a wheat beer-ish sort of thing with some pale malt or whatever. It's supposed to be like crisp, refreshing, a good beer for summer. It's quite warm today. And you know what? I'm down for a beer like this. At time of recording, this is exceedingly fresh. They say it's fresh for up to 90 days and it's about like 88 days out of 90 uh, till then so super fresh whatever let's talk about the appearance it's a mildly hazy pale straw color um since i poured it a little hard maybe I, we've got a solid mm, two finger head of super tightly packed bubbles a little tiny bit soap sudsy in the center i think we might get some glass lacing out of this and there's no alcohol eggs that i can see on the top of this even though i don't have too much room but i don't expect much out of a 4.7 percent sort of session beer ish kind of thing but you know what with all those hops in there and the promise of a nice bouquet it better smell good too so let's dive in for the aroma mm, nice sweet orange aroma like um orange blossom kind of aroma pine a little bit of citrus these are all muted tones a little bit of a melon smell some grassy herbaceousness, a little tiny, tiny bit of dankness. More citrus is rolling up as the head is receding. Not a hint of alcohol, and it smells really crisp. It smells like a, a hoppy uh, Pilsner or hoppy lager more than anything. But you know what? Let's dive in and see how Sam 76 is. Cheers! Mmm. Not bad. There's way more hops in the aroma then there is the flavor it's not bad a little watery medium ish medium thin kind of body right up front you get grainy malt a little bit of like mm, kind of bready doughy sweetness after that i'm getting some pine a little tiny bit of citrus some some floral taste as we get into a little more a little more dankness mm, but it's very light these are all light hop flavors grassiness this is any who kind of beer that's really crisp and refreshing that you could drink multiples of this is definitely a quantity drinker um i like it a little more than the the regular boston lager it's got a little more hop kick to it though this is one i definitely wouldn't drink with any kind of age on it because the little bit of hops that are in there now um we're, will definitely fade but i think anybody could enjoy this beer and that's what it's made for so in that you know kind of sense of things it definitely gets kudos because it, it's designed what it is and it's got that nice union it's, it's not as thin as a straight up like pilsner or boston lager is not like thin and watery like that it's got more of that ale body if you know what i'm talking about and a little bit of that more backbone but nice tasty easy to crush beer almost kind of reminds me of some uh, taste like a like a hoppy american wheat beer would be not without that banana taste kind of like that anywho let's grade it at time of recording beer advocate is giving sam 76 3.63 out of 5 so uh, it's probably like a b plus range and untapped is giving this 3.47 out of 5 caps which is also probably the b plus range and mm, let me take one more taste i think for what it is definitely a b plus beer i'm gonna go 88 tasty brew i'd buy it again got folks over for a party today that's gonna who's gonna polish off this six pack stunt drinker i think he's gonna show up so you know we ain't drinking anything that's that's 4.7 percent but while i'm cooking i don't want to be cronked so uh, yeah that's how it rolls so have you had sam 76 if you have let me know what you know because i like to quit pro quo eh. <laughs> back and forth i also really like it mm -hmm. when you do me a big favor and what think globally drink locally and support the craft beer movement i am getting it done
<laughs> Are you doing your share? I hope so. Also, if you could do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, and if you can get around to it, maybe consider smash that like button because that, along with probably a six pack of Sam 76, would definitely put my big ass happy face on. So the next DJ's brew tube, I got nothing but a bunch of sand out of freaking love for you, and you know what's coming. That's right, a big ass peace. <laughs>